going on guys your favorite youtuber here sincere gamer zero s cantonella and right now i want to bring you five of the most op things in nba live 16. now before we get into that i've been seeing a lot of bickering and back and forth i've been in it myself but it, there's a difference between being competitive and taking the shit personal everybody in the in the live community like some of us that's that's actually up there with the numbers and the, got a few k followers and all that stuff we gotta chill, man. Fuck all that shit. Cause it's it's only it's only us, bro. It's literally only us. Outside of us, who the fuck is it gonna be? If we wanna if we wanna argue with people that's on the outside looking in, cool. Fine. Go after them. Fuck them. But inside the own community, come on man, y'all gotta clean that shit the fuck up, bro. That shit's done. If you wanna be competitive, take that shit to the court, play one on one. Do what y'all gotta do, battle it out, but leave that shit on the court, bro. Yeah, there's no more, there's no need for this shit. With that being said, let's get into the most, the five most OP things in fucking NBA Live. Now, I, uh, I kinda, I conjured this shit up just by based off some of the things that I've seen. Now, number five, the most OP position is either the rim protector or the, uh, post score. These guys can hit any fucking shot any fucking time down in that paint, man. As you can see right here, like, this shit is, it's ridiculous. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know who made this. It must have been somebody who was a center in high school or something. The next uh, thing on this list is the 1K SP. Now, what you need to do is go into, like, a head-to-head -head game or go into your, sorry, your rising star. Get it up to, get your teammate rate up to 60 and then go to simulate the game. Now you simulate the game all the way through, all the way to the end of the game, and at the end of the game, you will get a thousand SP. Very simple. You can use that to build your character up. And the next move is the off-screen move. Just hold the left trigger, the LT or the uh, L2, and then you go shoot the ball. It's OP as fuck. You're gonna make it almost every single time. And the next thing that everybody hates now, between one and two, this is this is the most thing: the double team. <laughs> What can you do about it? You can't do shit about it. But number one is the fucking alley oop. It's the most OP move in the game, and it's like it's almost impossible to block unless you got your shits up. It's almost impossible to block. So that's my little list there. If you guys want to use it, go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Most of you guys probably already know about this stuff, but some of you guys as newcomers, you don't know about it. Get used to it. Use these things to your advantage. If you, especially if you're in random lobbies, use them to your advantage. There'll be like league games where the 99s, they'll get mad if you alley you. Fuck them. Just don't do it in the league game because you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose your league games. But if you're in random lobbies, fuck them. Throw them alley oops, double team on their ass if you got to. Whatever. Thank you guys. Sincere at Game Reserves Cantonella. And I'm out.